Now, Planey is a couple inches taller, but look at that last line of the last five opponents. Greer's last five, they have a win percentage. Over 66 punches per round, but in his last three, his output has dropped to just over 45. So something we will monitor to see how much he gets to work, how busy he is. Utilizing the jab early on here to get things started. Get your jab going and get a good rhythm. And then if the shot opens up, it'll be there. But don't force the knockout. Don't get caught up in, in, in you know, the moniker of night night. That's what's kind of set him back, I think, the last couple of fights is yesterday that he wants to be patient. That's not really his style either. He's a, a guy who likes to apply pressure. I'm seeing patience now, so I want to see how this, this newfound, you know, mindset from Plania works out for him against a guy like Josh Greer. Oh! He puts Greer down! Three! A left Four, hand! Floors five, Greer! Six! Seven! Eight! Well, Come what do we have here? Halfway through round one, and Plania has scored the knockdown! And now, how do we react? Sam had explosive punching power. Tess, I said that he has explosive punching power. That shot came. Every said, I don't want to rush things, but look at this surge he has early on. What an incredible... A left hook scoring the knockdown in the middle of this first round. And now a right hand comes in from the Filipino fighter. He's very explosive and unpredictable. Plania. Trying to settle back in, and he does so with a right hand to the body. 4 120 on the scale. Plenty came in at 119 and a half. 10 seconds. Of course, the time to rehydrate. Yes. I got it. I got the bucket. Big the way to bucket. start the evening for the upset seeking. At the wheel. What does he do? Greer was looking for and a jab. No, nope. you know, it was right, a right, lead right. left hook coming from Plenty. That's all you gotta do. Keep it. Sit down, take all the time. I'm gonna Set him down. One. You know what? Greer was actually shooting the jab. He dropped his right hand in the process. Don't be too anxious. Don't be too Just plan. It's very challenging, Tess, because the first thing that comes to heart is you want to go straight to the guy. So, But you got to use your head and be smart in there. And you got to stick to the game plan. That's it. Just discipline, Tess. That's what it's all about. Discipline. And you see Greer trying to do that right now. That's it. Yeah. yeah, Greer's responding the right way, at least as of right now. But yes, you got to deal with embarrassment. Your pride is hurt. You're angry. It's, 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 it's a bunch of emotions. Greer right now, he got his chin up in the air. His eyes are wide open, but that chin is up in the air. He needs to tuck that chin down in his chest. So that's Bernardo, what take were one they of them left hooks. Bernardo, what were they saying in the corner of Greer after that knockdown? George Hernandez says, look, he wasn't hurt. Fortunately, he recovered well, but he's got to stay alert. He's got to keep his hands up. I like the Greer from move, the movement from Greer, but he needs to get on his jab, and he needs to let his combinations go out at distance, and then think about defense afterwards. That's it. I'm going to line you up for a big shot. Let those hands go, Greer. Twos and threes. There's that there it is left again. Hook again from Plania. So that is where he has been finding success here. That's knocked down in the first round when Greer Jr. dropped. Let's see if he makes an adjustment. Ten seconds. and Greer coming to the end of round two in Vegas. Plania, the Filipino fighter who's 23 and one, who scored the knockdown halfway through round one. Mark Riegel against Josh Greer.
Josh Greer's had some slow starts in his career. Well, a word of encouragement yeah, yeah. For, for Greer fans. Yeah. Last year, he's trying to bring that right hand forward. So, so Greer can get used to it. Then he's going to try to nail him with that left hook again. He's setting it up. I'm impressed with the patience of Plania of right now. He told us this much, and I said this earlier, that he would, he's trying to line Greer up, like you said, Tim, for that perfect shot. He just landed another good left hook right there. But also credit to Greer for recovering and getting back to the game plan. He's I think right now Joshua Greer is just trying not to get dirty. And what I mean by that is he doesn't really want to get touched. He's already been down. He's trying to box this perfect fight. And you all hear me say this all the time. And when you're facing a puncher, there's a time and a place to slip inside, get some work off, get your respect, tie up and reset. Greer hasn't done that yet. He's boxing well, but he needs to get inside in spots to get the respect of Plania. You know saying? It's tough to throw a no hitter for 12 rounds. It's tough to try to be so perfect. Well, it's not just tough, but it's draining physically yes. and mentally. And I was always taught, and it's counterintuitive, but if you do it right, it can work. You don't all smother it, get your work off, and then get out. Yeah. And it's a Scotty in the NBA bubble coming up. Phil Mickelson's turning 50, and the Madden cover is revealed. That is coming up on SportsCenter with SVP once we get through with this critical main event in the Bantamweight division. 10 and ESPN.com, and he was floored in the first round. In tough tonight against Mike Plania. Got to do, he's trying to bring the tempo up a little bit and get his hands working, but he went down to the body with that right hand quite a bit. Plania has a really good... Greer can't Joe, do the anything about it. Plania has, he needs has to a mind that. of his own. It's almost like Plania just whips it in there. He doesn't throw it hard, but it lands hard. And it's a real good way you just described Natural it, Natural punch from... At some point, I think Greer's going to have to slip inside and touch the body of Plania, get some uppercuts in there, rough him up, let him know that, hey, I'm physical too. I'm not going to stay here with you all night long. Greer right now, he's moving towards that left hand. I will move away from that left hand. I will move the opposite way and use my jab. And don't allow him. I want him to reach for that left hook. That way. Yes, that way. Use that jab that way. Keep that right hand up. And what took again from Plany, but that time Greer able to get out of the way. There it is, right there. You see Plany get out of position and square up. Once Greer came in with a one-two combination, those are opportunities for. There you go. Oh, that's it. It's amazing the audio we have with this yeah, fanless yeah. atmosphere because yeah. you can hear George Hernandez, 66 year old, original trainer of career. Then he went away, went to California, came back to Chicago. But it, it's almost like a fighter, and typically the roar of the crowd in the arena atmospheres we normally are televised in fights, and you would never have this one. Encouragement coming from yeah, no, you're right, Joe. But, but but for fighters, this is what we're used to. You know, not in a in a a fight. You got to compartmentalize your coach, tune out the other coach, get your work in. Like this is what we've always known. Good. Okay, here we go. Keep him up. Time me. Let's go. I used to take it personal, Joe, when I used to hear other coaches say reckless things about me and say, "Oh, he's tired. Oh, he can't take a shot." That used to motivate me. <laughs> By the way, Timmy, the least <laughs> shocking thing I could hear in tonight's broadcast that Dre would take it that way. <laughs> yeah. Give me anything. Yeah. I'll take any motivation. We're trying to dig that left hand to the body. And he was trying to meet him with a left of his own. There's another level to that offense. Finished. That's the next level. That's the elite level. Greer's throwing one shot at a time. That's it. Just go. 
Okay, Ooh. now what? Greer, now what? He just landed a combination. He yeah. just ran away. Now yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. That's what bye, I'm talking bye. about, ladies and gentlemen. Bye, bye, bye. End of five yeah, here, man. live from Vegas. <laughs> Ah! Halfway mark of our scheduled 10 round main event, a crucial fight for Joshua Greer if he wants to live up to everything he plans to be targeting here. But right now, Mike Planian feels like he could be in control of things, having scored the knockdown in round one. Coming out firing here with long range right hands to the body against Greer in round six. Earlier tonight, guy over 66 punches per round. In the last three fights that have come with wins but some criticism, his output dropped to 45 punches per round. He has been in the 30s tonight, 35, even less than what we said we would be monitoring. Well, part of the reason, or all of the reason, is Michael Plania. Greer cannot afford to make any mistakes, so therefore he won't throw as many punches. Because Plenty is landing shots like that, and the shot we saw Greer get knocked down with in the first round. He doesn't want that to happen again, so he's very economical. He's trying to be very choosy with what he... I assume that corner is bullish right now. What are they saying? Yeah, they, he actually told me, uh, Osmani Fernandez said, I'm happy. He said, I told him, you're the boss, but you've got to let your hands go. You're in control. You're dominating this fight. Greer's not punching, so take advantage. Plenty had just missed a vicious right hand or grazed that shot. What will the answer be? How about Greer Three, going down again? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Come to me. Okay. Here we go. Can you believe this? We just said it. You could see it in the bottom. Down and up. Down and Here we up. see Plenty of doing what he's been doing, just moving slightly, but then that left hook has a mind of its own. He didn't wind up. He didn't telegraph it. He just whipped it. Here we see right here. Boom. Right there, short shot. Landed right on the chin of Greer. And then the legs of Greer betrayed him, and down he went again. Don't drop your hands back that left up, hook sir. is something vicious. And again, that thing has a mind of its own. Um, your description of that round, it almost goes beyond the normal arc and just whips right in like a viper strike. And two times now tonight, it has scored the knockdown for Mike Plania in the first round and in the sixth round. So when we look at Andre Ward's card, you will see the 10-8 rounds and you will see... Good two-piece right there from Plania. Left hook and a right hand to follow. Driving down with that right hand. I believe he needs a knockout to win this fight. Or even pull off a draw. Yeah, the two 10-8 rounds are so difficult to overcome. There it is again. Left hook, hook right again. Wow. Yeah, look at that left hand to the body, doubling it up there. I'll tell you, there is something to like about Mike Plana, isn't there? The Filipino from the same hometown as Manny Pacquiao, who's been coming on strong. You know, you can look shoulder to shoulder they are now. Short right on the inside. What will be the answer for Greer, if any? Right back. There's the right uppercut from Joshua Greer. Trailing on the scorecards here Good in round eight. Right here from Josh Greer. Josh Greer trying to keep his status. Number one in the WBO. Top ten on ESPN.com. Mike Plania trying to put himself the pressure from Greer. Trying to chase him down with a right hand. Just missing breast. He said he was primed. He said he was ready. His only loss against the guy who was a champion in Juan Carlos Payano. 
seemingly getting better at 23 years old. Magic Mike feels like he had a magical night as a signature win. Let's hear what Mark Chinook and the judges have to say about that. After 10 rounds here inside MGM Grand, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Dave Moretti has it 94-94. Tim Cheatham has it 96-92. Patricia Morse Jarman has it 97-91. For your winner, by majority decision, Magic Mike Plania! Not quite sure what Dave Moretti was watching with the widespread 97-91 and 96-92. Far more legitimate and accurate depiction of the fight that we just watched with two knockdowns scored by Mike Plania, but the right guy won it. It comes by majority decision, and we will hear from Mike.